everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and the Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning July 12th, 2021. So as we get into this, there are going to be lots of shakeups, lots of things being revealed. That's the thing, okay? Lots of truths that are coming up. We talk about this all the time. I know it's just kind of a continuation. <laughs> I will admit that, but I want us to be prepared for this because some of the revelations that we've always been talking about. These are things that have been there all along. And we always knew it, we felt something was around it, but we didn't know what to call it, okay? Now we as humans, we have a third dimensional ego consciousness. Sometimes that goes out of control. That's where we start having certain personality types and there's a disconnection from the heart. We're going to start seeing, mm, the, they're saying the, the gap starts to widen a little bit. And I think that's part of what, I don't want to say this, it, it's going to be a divide. We are divided already, but it's a necessary divide because when we kind of come apart from one another and there's going to be a lot of reaction, okay? So this could be the kind of thing where very sensitive people are starting to get fed up and start fighting back. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I get this feeling like they're going to start fighting back. And then the people we always blamed for everything and said, you're evil, we're going to start understanding that we had jumped to conclusions. And then we're going to start understanding uh, where we need to be better about tuning into our intuition before we make a snap judgment about someone. Yes. So that's what I'm saying here. There's a feeling here of, uh, it's about people and it's about, um, yeah, safety is coming up. Okay, so safety is coming up. I do record these ahead of time because I never know, especially in the summertime, I never know what the heck I'm going to be up against with construction, with whatever, people moving in and out. So I do these ahead of time. So we'll have to see how this plays out. But this is about compassion and empathy overload. So there's this talk of em empathy overload. So even if you're on the sensitive side of things, we're learning to be better with that which might mean not going into a victimhood mentality, which takes our power away, right? If we're just always, and that's not to say that nothing's happened to us empaths, right? <laughs> we go through a lot, but, and I'm not encouraging people to go into like toxic dynamics or anything of the sort. That's not what this is. We have to be careful about looking at everything on the surface. This is a deeper shift that we talk about all the time. It's an internal one where we have this internal realization of, we're on the same team. We just have very, very different perspectives. And what I thought was, you know, I thought I had this person all figured out. Maybe I don't. Okay. We want to be careful. There's a word of caution coming in here about um, being careful because there are some, uh, I want to be careful because I don't want to diminish anybody, <laughs> but uh, there are some people posing as human. <laughs> Again, I know it sounds crazy, but really they've denied their soul so much and they have no feelings. It's not that they're not human and that they don't matter. It's just, we want to be careful with that because they can then go into, you know, really acting out. Okay. Again, I want to be careful with this because I don't want to put negativity out there, but, um, this is us having a clearer vision of what's really going on behind the scenes. And that doesn't necessarily mean behind the scenes of like politicians, movie stars, you know, all these people out there that we say are pulling the strings. It's not, it doesn't have that kind of feeling. It's more about having an understanding about the human condition. Remember, that's a big part of why we all incarnated here is to experience what it is to be human in this kind of realm. And if given the power of this mind, under these circumstances, what happens? So even if we don't like what we're seeing on the other side, whether you're somebody who's very in your intellect and you're not very attached to your emotions and you're looking at people who are emotional and going, you're a hot mess, <laughs> right? Or if you're somebody who's super emotional, uh, looking at somebody who is very logical and saying, you're a monster. We're all a part of the same experience in a way. And we are here to bounce off of one another. Again, I am not saying go into this narcissist codependent dynamic. No, we want to keep this healthy. Okay. But we can still have this realization. Something breaks open here and we start understanding a little bit more. Now that doesn't mean 
that everything's going to be neat and tidy as of this week, right? That won't happen. But I think what will occur is that there's this, I'm hearing quiet compassion. There's a quiet compassion. So I'm still not okay with, you know, the things that you're doing, but I recognize what's behind it. People have a hard time with that because they want to jump to conclusions yet again and say, well, you're making excuses for bad behavior. I have done nothing but dealt with trauma, recovery and abuse and recovery my entire life up until now. I'm getting better. (laughs) But I am never one who would sit there and make excuses for bad behavior. You can call it what it is. But clearly we're not going to get to any sort of resolution or, um, you know, a sense of community or coming together if we don't understand what makes us tick. And guess what? The psychological community, even though I'm a, you know, big believer in therapy and I encourage it, you always hear me say, be discerning. You'd be shocked at how many therapists are not well equipped to handle uh, personality disorders, for example. Or it may not just be their specialty, right? Or if you have an eating disorder, for example, you know, you might end up with a therapist who doesn't really specialize in that area. It doesn't mean they can't treat you, but just be discerning. I had a therapist once who now, knowing what I know, looking back, was a very dangerous person. Hmm, yeah, <laughs> story to love it on that one. That was when I was very young in New York City. So, you know, I, you know, I say that if you're going to start understanding yourself and looking at what's behind it, Yes, you might say, well, let's look to the psychological community. There's going to be value there, for one, but it's not the whole story. Well, let's look at spiritual beliefs and all this. Remember, a lot of spiritual beliefs are the human brain trying to interpret something beyond us that we can't comprehend. That's why we have so many varied stories and systems in place. And everyone kind of hits on a little something, but it's not the full picture. So there is a word of caution here to not go down the rabbit hole, okay? To see what you see, understand what you understand. Have Some of you might have a realization of, you know what? I act like this. What do I need to do about that? Or, you know what? I do allow myself to get into a victim mentality because I feel like everyone's out to get me. Where does that come from? Is it trauma? Again, you have to talk to a specialist about that. Our discussion here is just, it's a spiritual talk. You, You do what's right for you. So, that's what we're talking about here with this, like understanding the self-understanding and also understanding one another. Mm. Okay. So there is, this feels like a psychiatrist out there. I don't know if we'll be hearing about this person this week or what, but uh, there's somebody out there, a team of people who are working on the, the, you know, how the brain, um, again, I want to be careful. People who do extreme things, understanding where that comes from. That's the big thing here, understanding where all these things come from and and what in the brain, so we're talking very physical, okay, and our physicality, what informs their decisions, what informs their actions, okay? It's going to be interesting. And we always talk about turnabouts and things that we didn't see coming, right? There will be a lot of that, but we have to be willing to be open-minded and open-hearted, still protecting yourself, of course, but not out of fear, out of strength, right? So if you do have somebody toxic in your life who is just always trying to mess with your head, just always trying to whatever, whatever, you, it doesn't mean that you go, you know, I forgive you and it's okay to just treat me like that. It's not that kind of forgiveness. It would be more of, I forgive you and now I'm going to take care of myself, And yet on a deep level, having this understanding suddenly of where it comes from. Okay. So I'm, I'm putting this in a few different ways because I want to make sure it gets across that the time is here to start understanding humans, humanity on a deeper level. This is leading to something that is definitely going to be breaking open. I think, again, I think we're going to be in for a wild ride here. (laughs) We're in for a wild, wild ride. And do not do this thing where you keep wanting to reverse and go back to how things were. This is very much stepping out of our comfort zone. This is very much being willing to look at things from a different angle. Okay. So we're going to have to see how that breaks open. As always, we can chat with each other in the comments and we'll just kind of see what's going on. All right. Let's get onto the cards. Okay. Let's see what we have. 
bringing it into the practical with the cards. Hmm. Okay, so never second guess your instincts. Because I just heard catastrophe. That's not to make you afraid. That's not to make you afraid. This is so you pay attention. All right. So if you have a feeling about not doing something, don't do it. Okay. If you have a feeling like I need to get away from the coast, do it. Oh, but I have a vacation plan to go to the beach. If now I'm not saying that like some of you out there are like, wait, I have a vacation plan to go to Florida. What in the world? I'm sitting here editing this week's video. I recorded this well in advance. And now there is, in fact, a hurricane heading for Florida. Last I heard, please be careful and please be aware. Florida, what in the world? You know, no, 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 no. It's not, it's not like that, even though we just had a horrific thing happen. It was in Miami, I believe, right? Um, but, you know, I, what I'm saying here is that if you personally have an intuition about something, listen to that intuition. Listen to it. All right. Um, I heard storms brewing and then I saw the Caribbean. I know some of you are like, great, I'm supposed to go on a cruise. It's okay. Just again, don't be scared. Don't let fear overtake things because it might be just fine. But just make sure you're watching. Okay. And, and be flexible is what they're saying. Be very, very flexible because there are going to be things coming out that are going to scramble us, confuse us. But this isn't just us against whoever you see your enemy as. We're all scrambled. There are things coming that will bond us because this is something we don't know about. Right? This is something that we don't get. All right. Surrender to the divine full moon. So again, a lot of things being exposed, a lot of things coming up, and it really is a time of just don't push on this. All right. Self-care, 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 self-care. Okay. Wow. You can't actually say that many times without stumbling over it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> surrender to the divine. Just give it over to God if you believe in God, or maybe some people are triggered by the word God. I am not. I, I use the word God. But if you want to think of it as the universe creator, you know, whatever is good for you, uh, that's, or the divine, hi, uh, this is giving your cares and worries over to the divine and not allowing these things to run away with you. Because again, we get into such a survival mode, which is our ego consciousness. And so we want to fight whatever new information comes up, or um, we just go into helplessness and just, you know, play witness and go, I don't know what to do with this. This is going to have a little bit of that uh, flavor to it where you are having to just play witness, but you're not powerless. That's it. There's a difference there. Don't fall into that kind of energy. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? You're well supported. <laughs> They're saying you are all well supported. You do not need to worry. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. There is something that gets revealed, exposed, shown to us. And now this has a good feeling behind it. So there could be this sort of like, oh, I can't believe that that just happened. I can't believe that this has been going on for so long, but now you know what to do because now you see what the solid problem is. So as, because that was full moon, right? Yeah, we said, yeah, full moon. Um, that, that's being revealed. There's a big reveal. And now it's time for us, and with it being Aries, not that Aries, that all Aries people are just angry, <laughs> but it is a fire. It is a drive. And this gets us very focused to know, okay, this is how we need to handle this. This is how we need to carry forward. But again, it has very much a feeling of who would have been seen as enemies previously now coming together. Okay. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. What do you believe in? Now, please do not take this like I have to go defend my beliefs no matter the cost. No, no, no. Okay. What this is, is can we commit to one another? Can we come together as a humanity? Can we be there for one another? All right. Now, as far as this being upsetting, 
we are no strangers now to upsetting things. It's not about that. It's not about not being able to handle what's coming up. It's like it's there and we get focused. So you might get through the stages of like shock, anger, maybe even grief, okay? And then how do we make a change? How do we make this planet better? And listen, being extreme in your views and in any way, shape, or form trying to control another person or trying to force them to see things your way because you think you're right, better look at that. That's not how to go, okay? Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So this could very much be around the stock market. Look at this bull on here, okay? <laughs> Something might be shifting with the stock market, even if it's bad news. Well, I guess the stock market shifts all the time. Yeah, hi. Um, if I have anybody who are like Wall Street people who watch this, can you give us a shout out in the comments? I just love hearing like, who's watching? Like, what do you do all day, <laughs> right? Or anybody, you just leave uh, your comment down below about what you do day in and day out, if you care to. But this is saying, if it, let's say there's some sort of like financial upheaval and it's with the stock market. Don't worry, prosperity lies ahead. This feels, with all the other cards, this feels like we're figuring out a new path to prosperity. So uh, cracking down on certain practices, exposing people who have maybe even triggered recessions. I don't know how that works, um, but we're understanding that we're, we're understanding just how broken our system is. And you might be sitting there going, I already know. No, you don't. And watch that ego. No, you don't. There's more to come. There will be more to come. And this is also around the housing market. So if you're in real estate, be careful. Be very careful, especially if you're like a high roller type real estate person. Watch out. Okay. The systems are crumbling because it's a new day, honey. It's a new day. Uh, Rainbow. I'm also, I'm recording this in June. I don't think I ever said happy pride. Happy pride, <laughs> okay? So here we go. Uh, rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. The number is one. So we are cleaning things up. We're working towards a nicer, more blessed future. Now that does not mean like it's all sunshine and rainbows all the time, but this is what we're working towards. Think of this as like doing a deep clean of the basement and the attic, okay? Like now you're finally looking at it, facing it, and when we come through, there will be a serenity uh, like we've not seen in many, many years. So, yeah, and this is about being balanced too and healing. So be doing, you know, energetic clearings, energetic healing, you know, that sort of thing this week. And just try to, they're saying, take a broader view. Try to take a broader view at whatever's going on and whatever we hear, do not jump to conclusions about it. And also don't overcorrect and say, I know there's gonna be hidden truth behind this and I'm so excited and intrigued by what the hidden truth could be, so let me go in there. You're putting an energy out there that contributes to the scramble. And not only that, you discredit your community because you're just, you know, in the hype of things. Make sure you have facts. Now, I'm not talking to like all the people out there who are digging for truth or truth seekers. I think it's wonderful that we're, we're working towards that. I'm a truth seeker myself, but I'm not just going to jump on any bandwagon because some person who sold a lot of books says so, or because someone who just has a certain personality and they're just very, very persuasive says it's like this. And now everybody gets all worked up and now they're acting out and they don't even know what they're fighting for. Let's not do that. All right. So if you are enjoying this content, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video. I, as I said before, I am recording this ahead of time. So by the time this goes up, I'm sure I'll hopefully we'll have another meditation challenge up over at Gumroad. Just head on over there, gumroad.com slash angel souls. Get on in there, see what you like, see what you want to participate in. And of course, if you would like a personal reading or an Akashic Records reading, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.